This is your straight to the point guide for using castor oil for shrinking endometriosis growth, fibroids, cysts, and polyps. I'm Madeline McKinnon. I'm a hormone nutritionist and the founder of Natural Hormone Healing. And you are in the right place today if you're experiencing any menstrual issues and you wanna benefit from using castor oil. I've been doing castor oil packs myself and with my clients for over 10 years, and I can tell you that they do work, but you need to do them properly. So I'm going to get into all of the details today, and we'll also talk about a special protocol that you can use with castor oil packs at different times of your menstrual cycle. So what are the benefits of castor oil and what is all the hype about? Castor oil is a vegetable oil. It's made from the castor bean, and it's really high in this molecule called ricinoleic acid, which is this anti-inflammatory molecule that's small enough to get into those deep layers of our tissue. When we put it on topically, it can have an anti-inflammatory and detoxing effect. It even can help get into our lymphatic system and clear out any stagnation. If you're someone that experiences endometriosis growth, fibroids, cysts, polyps, even dense breast tissue or fibrocystic breasts, castor oil is incredibly effective for this. And a lot of people have been using it as a tool to shrink fibroids or shrink endometriosis tissue. And if you have more severe endometriosis, you likely have a lot of scar tissue. And castor oil in particular is amazing for helping to soften that tissue and break up any scar tissue that could be causing pain. So if you have endometriosis, I would for sure recommend using castor oil topically every single day. But there are some things you need to be aware about when using castor oil. First off, you should not use it when you're on the most heavy day of your period because castor oil does increase circulation. So you need to be careful, especially if you have a more heavy period. You also should not use it if you are pregnant. And the only reason to take castor oil internally is it can actually induce labor and it will cause loose bowels. It is a very potent and powerful laxative. Other things to be aware of is you need to use quality castor oil. Castor oil should only be cold pressed, organic and hexane free. And it also needs to be stored in dark glass. And this is because of the absorbent nature of castor oil. So you don't want castor oil that's been sitting in plastic or it's been exposed to pesticides or have chemicals in it because that means that those chemicals can then penetrate into your tissue. So you need to have quality castor oil. I will link some of my favorite brands below and even have some discount codes for you. I remember the first time I used a castor oil pack, I slept so deeply. I woke up and I felt so well rested. And I remember my digestion being amazing the next day. So castor oil helps a lot if you are constipated or having any digestive issues. So if you put castor oil directly on your liver, you're going to get liver detoxing benefits. If you're experiencing symptoms of estrogen dominance or any other hormonal conditions, what's important to note is that a lot of our hormones need to be processed through our liver. So if our liver isn't working well, we can suffer with our hormone health. Another benefit that I experience every time I do the castor oil pack is I find it just relaxes me. Instantly from applying that oil, I notice I start to relax and shift from my sympathetic to parasympathetic nervous system and get into that rest and digest state. So if you're someone that's experiencing a lot of stress or maybe you have adrenal fatigue or adrenal burnout, the castor oil packs are going to have this amazing anti-stress effect as well. When you hear me say castor oil pack, essentially what we're doing is we're applying castor oil on organic cotton flannel and then applying that flannel to our body for an extended period of time. So what I recommend doing for applying a castor oil pack is I use these packs from the brand The Queen of Thrones 
And they are actually a heatless castor oil pack. They're made from organic cotton flannel. And what we're doing is we're putting the castor oil on top of the flannel, and then we're putting the castor oil around our abdomen and making sure that there is some compression just from tying it up. That compression helps that oil penetrate the skin a lot deeper and it's more effective that way. You wanna apply your castor oil pack for at least one hour, but you can even leave it overnight. And I'm gonna to demo to you how I do the castor oil pack as well so you can get more detail. So to make your castor oil pack, you are going to put a roughly two tablespoons of organic castor oil directly onto the soft side of the pack. We are going to rub it together and make sure it's all distributed along the path. So now I'm going to apply the castor oil pack. Usually I would have my skin exposed, but I'm just gonna use a bath towel that I don't mind if it gets stained. To do the liver castor oil pack, what you will do is you will add it to the right side and it can even overlap going around your back. And then you are going to tie it up and you want that compression, which is why I love these Queen of Thrones castor oil packs, but you don't want it to be uncomfortable. Um, but the great thing about these packs is that they're hands-free, so you could even be having them on when you're in the kitchen. I even know one lady that even uses it when she travels uh, and goes on a trip. She finds that it just helps her with all the stress of the traveling. Uh, so this is your pelvic pack, so you can see the pelvic pack is a lot bigger, and it's going to cover a lot more area. Uh, so if you're just going to get one for endometriosis fibroids, I would get the pelvic pack. And it's the same thing. You're just putting it all along that front of your body and tying it up, getting that compression. You're going to feel amazing after a couple weeks of applying these castor oil packs daily. Another thing to remember is castor oil is very sticky. So after you apply that pack, put on some type of towel or even something that some clothing that you don't mind if it gets stained because castor oil is really thick. I love using these thick beach towels because I don't mind if they get stained. I have a couple that I use for my castor oil packs and I'll just add it directly over top of that pack. So here's a protocol that I have if you do want to shrink endometriosis growth or fibroids. I recommend applying a castor oil pack daily for at least one hour or even overnight. They're really good to sleep with, especially if you have a towel that you can put over top of the castor oil. But avoid the castor oil again during those heavy days of your period. That's really important to avoid it because castor oil can increase circulation and cause your flow to be even heavier. One option if you wanna use the Queen of Thrones castor oil packs is you can sync the type of pack that you use at different times in your cycle. So you could use the liver castor oil pack up until ovulation. So when your period starts to become lighter up until ovulation, that's usually until around day 14 or 15 and apply that liver pack because um, then you're gonna get the benefits, the hormone balancing benefits of having that castor oil pack on the liver. And then in the second half of your cycle, that's when you can apply the pelvic pack. And the pelvic pack goes over the lower abdomen. And then that's going to get into the fibroids and the endometriosis tissue. So I recommend doing that. I'll put the links to order a castor oil pack below. If you have any questions or any experience using castor oil that you want to share, I would love to hear from you. And if you like this content, you want more information on fibroids, heavy periods, endometriosis, hit subscribe. I will be sharing more videos. I plan to do a series all about shrinking fibroids in the near future. So I would love it if you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I will see you on the next, and I will see you on the next video.